Banner. It is, and we, I mean, along the Wasatch Front in particular, we're going to have that band just kind of sitting there, not wanting to move for the <laughs> next couple of hours. It will eventually start to kind of weaken and break down, and I do think by about 9 p.m. tonight, we're going to see most of it dying out, but it does come back. We have a front that's going to be lifting back to the north, along with a disturbance coming in, so the overall storm not ending uh, for a couple of days, really. Early Monday morning, potentially, we're starting to see the end in sight. Uh, this is solitude right now. We still have a ton of wind and heavy snow coming down. We're going to continue to see gusts there, 45 miles an hour, if not more. And so we're going to be looking at those snow totals just really stacking up there. And our snow rates right now can be up to two to four inches per hour in the mountains, which is certainly uh, heavy duty for us. It's 31 in Salt Lake, north winds at 22, gusting to 33. And just look at this. This is from our KSL camera tower looking down towards downtown. And you can see that snow is just coming down at quite the clip. So we have this system coming through. It's hitting northern, central, and southern Utah now, but it's rain at the lower elevations. And then you can see it's just messy back toward north and west. So we do have another disturbance coming in that it keeps the stormy weather, unsettled weather around through early Monday. Uh, right now, we still have snow coming down in Cache County. Picks up an in intensity from Weber to Davis County, Salt Lake to Utah County, still seeing moderate to heavy snow as well. Back across the Wasatch back, even extending at this point into Juab County as well. Zooming into some of the heavier spots, this is Ogden coming down heavy back towards Roy and Layton. A little heavier snow for you there. And then when you get out of Salt Lake County, it picks up again, Lehigh to Provo, Spanish Fork, and Santa Quinn. The darker purples here showing that heavier snow extending back into Beaver. And then as you head south along I-15, you may run into a little bit of snow towards Beaver, but then it does get much warmer. Uh, Cedar City to St. George is all coming down as rain, but we still have a whole lot of wind to contend with there as the winds are strongest ahead of that front. Snowfall potential for the next few hours. We could pick up another one to two inches along the Wasatch Front potentially up to a foot in the mountains because of the rate it's coming down. But then by the time we wrap things up getting into early Monday, we could be talking two feet of snow in the mountains, if not more. And we may add another one to two inches here and there along the Wasatch Front. And I'll time it out for you. Uh, this is for the rest of the day. Snow coming down, 9 p.m. Again, things really settled down. Central Utah still seeing some of that snow. And then as we head through the overnight hours, that front lifts back north. This is early tomorrow morning. This is our next round of snow coming in. Cache County through the Wasatch Front. More snow showers, some heavy at times. As we go into the afternoon, mostly cloudy and one of those days where it's dry for a little while and then you get another snow shower rolling in. And we could even see more snow in our central and southern mountains. And then I wanted to show you Monday, we get this other disturbance coming in. First thing in the morning, Monday morning, could impact that Monday morning commute with more accumulating snow. Wind forecast, the highest winds down south for tonight, but then the winds start to go back up again in northern Utah tomorrow morning. 45 to 50 mile an hour gusts in the mountains. We could see 35 to 45 mile an hour gusts again along the Wasatch Front. Totally different story from what we saw today, but still some very gusty winds tomorrow. Temps are in the low 30s here. We're still at 60 in St. George, Oak Loft. Your forecast for tomorrow, we have highs in the upper 30s. Snow showers again, most of it in the morning, but a few scattered showers in the afternoon. 41 in Cedar City, 54 in St. George. St. George, we have temperatures climbing back to the low 60s, potentially some rain on Thursday. And for the Wasatch Front, we're looking at temps in the upper 30s to low 40s the next couple of days. So pretty cold here. And with the winds, it'll feel colder. We do dry things out a bit, but we stay a bit unsettled. We have a potential rain-snow mix on Wednesday and then maybe even to early Thursday before it dries out going into next weekend. So <laughs> active weather continues, but you don't want to be on the roads right now. Yeah. Tomorrow morning looks rough. Monday morning could potentially be rough, too. Good way to start off March, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah, March coming in. <laughs> All right, <laughs> thanks a lot. Well, today is World.